This is the new MG ZST, a new, small, more premium SUV from the emerging Chinese brand. What this model looks to do is introduce some of those design and advanced safety systems from a larger HS model and filter them down into a smaller, more convenient package. We're here at the preview event and have managed to grab a top spec Essence model to have a bit of a look at. So we'll jump in the car, check out the cabin, see some of the technology on board and give you guys a quick look at what's to come. MG has taken the time to refine some of the exterior design elements on this car. First things first, you get a lot more glossy black plastic. So these extend on the front bumper, right through to the side skirts, as well as on the mirrors too. There's also a set of red brake calipers too, which help move its look up market. Rounding out the significant changes on the outside is a set of all new bumpers front and rear, as well as all new LED headlights and 3D design LED tail lights. It's not just design and technology that's new with this car. Under the bonnet, we've also got something else new. We've got a 115 kilowatt, 1.3 litre, three cylinder turbocharged engine, which sends its power through a six speed ASIN sourced automatic transmission. This car makes 40% more power than the other small SUV in the MG range, the ZS. In order to manage a 40% power increase versus the regular ZS, this car has had significant chassis strengthening. It's got new suspension units, a beefier front subframe, as well as a thicker torsion beam out back. You get a lot more kit in this car compared to the regular MG ZS. First things first are a digital instrument cluster up front. It's a first for the brand and only available on this top spec Essence. Its graphics are clear and crisp and it's really easy to use too. Nice addition to the car. Second thing with this car too is a large 10.1 inch infotainment screen. Another thing though is that the aircon controls have moved into the screen with only a few buttons underneath as opposed to having dedicated controls. Looking around the cabin too, they've improved the fit and finish on this car. They've added much more soft touch materials down here on the lower dash. There's also on the door card as well. There's also this red stitching and embossing on the seats. Overall, it's definitely a very, very nice place to be and doesn't feel like a budget option at all. Buyers of the MG ZST will also receive a 360 degree parking camera with 3D mode and even five USB ports, including one located up here near the rear vision mirror, perfect for the installation of a dash cam. In order to remind you that this car is actually new, the cup holder even states the fact. We're not sure how that's going to age, however. Stepping up to the top spec Essence model also nets a panoramic sunroof, which is claimed to be the largest in its class, as well as heated front seats and a different set of 17 inch alloy wheels. Out in the second row, space is similar to that of the MG ZS. I've got about a couple of inches in front of my knees, but I've got great headroom too, considering that this car has an opening panoramic sunroof. Other things out back, we've got two USB ports to keep things charged, but one miss is a lack of rear air vents, which is a bit of a shame for this model. Boot space remains the same as the regular ZS model at 359 litres to be exact. It's about similar space to what you find in a Hyundai Kona. And to give you guys an idea of how wide it is, you could easily fit a stroller in there and a bunch of groceries too, without any issues. There's a dual position boot floor too, and underneath that is a space saving spare wheel. And one more thing, the tailgate remains manual only across all grades. So there you have it. This new MG ZST looks to offer a lot more over the regular ZS model. If you initially had some concerns about the lack of safety gear or some of the interior fit and finish not being up to par, get out and have another second look at one of these. It definitely addresses those problems head on. As this is a preview event, we're sadly unable to drive the MG ZST today, but we're gonna be getting one through the Car Advice Garage in the next couple of weeks. So make sure you subscribe to our channel to be the first to know exactly what we have to think about the new MG ZST.